Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren um, and my channel name is Dizzy Stitcher. I hope you're all well and have had a good stitchy week. Um, mine's not been too bad a week considering. So first of all, I can't believe it's been 20 years since 9-11. Um, so again, heart goes out to all those families that were impacted by uh, the event. And I say it must have been very uh, terrifying to see. Like I say, I can remember watching it on the news. Um, well, yeah, it doesn't seem 20 years ago, but it does. Um, so, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I hope you like what you see. And if you do like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. If you are a returning viewer, then thank you very much again for returning. It is much appreciated. So, it's been a fun week. I managed to get more done than what I thought. So, I managed to get my two stitch with me's done. Had Zoom meetings as well, uh, which was fun. Um, I got a surprise shock when Teresa Little Stitcher um, popped in on my UK Zoom channel. Um, that was a big surprise, and we had such a laugh. She's such a lovely lady. Oh, I'm sure most of you know who Teresa Little Stitcher is, and uh, yeah, so it was only meant to be a two hour Zoom. I think we went on for like almost three hours. Um, there was a fair few of us in there. And it was such a laugh, um, so it was great. So, Teresa, if you're watching, thank you very much for joining. It was much fun. Um, so that was last weekend, and then I started my college. Uh, I was hoping to get a lot more done than I wanted to on there, but the induction side of it took about two and a half hours just to go through all the induction. It was absolutely ridiculous. So needless to say, I didn't get an awful lot done on there, but I've started it, so that's the main thing. I'm on to section three. <laughs> So, not an awful lot done. Uh, but I think I'm only going to get to the end of section four by the end of this, well, by the end of today, really. Um, so, we'll see how we go. <laughs> but I did manage to get a fair bit of stitching in as well. Um, more than I thought I would do, actually. I didn't think I'd get that much in, but I managed some. Um, so, without further ado, let's jump in and show you what we've been stitching on. So, the first piece I've been stitching on is my Tilted Crafts piece. Uh, which is Big Cats, which is this one, which I'm doing with Jeanette in my Facebook group. Um, it's to see who can get the uh, Snow Leopard finished first of all. So Jeanette's doing a different approach to me, so she's just going everywhere. <laughs> I'm kind of working page by page, um, but, yeah, but it's coming along nicely. So this one is stitched on 25 count Easy Guy. Um, I'm doing it one over one full cross and this week I've only got in 320 stitches and this is what we're up to now so I don't know if you can see what I've done uh, so I've worked a, a fair bit down here uh, filling in this colour and then this colour ran into here as well so I've done a bit more in the cut itself so it's coming along nicely. So as I said, now we've got this page finished now, I think. Not much more to go in there. So that's coming along really well. Love how this is looking. Let's have a close up. So this one will be worked on again this week. The, uh, <laughs> with my, I was showing you last week, uh, working on my whip go pieces. Um, the projects that I showed and what I said needed to be accomplished is not what I'm aiming to get done in September. I think some of that's a bit... <laughs> it's just what I'm going to be working towards in September. <laughs> just so that you are aware, I've got to say. Otherwise, I'd, I'd never need, I've no time to do anything. I'll be stitching constantly to try and get all these done. Uh, so my next piece uh, is a DMC kit, which is the Egyptian Queen, which is this one. And I'm working in this area over here. So the task on this one is to aim for a page finish, which will be this part. So this one, I didn't do too bad uh, time on this one. This one got 477 stitches in it. And this one is on 14 count. Um, it's like a creamy Ada. Um, and it's two over one full cross and some half stitches in there as well. So hopefully you can see I've done this one. So I was on a roll with this one. So as you can see, I filled down 
this section here now. So all this part is done. Um, I started outlining the uh, this part here, which would be for the pillars. So I've started that part and then come down into this section. So I'm about, I think, halfway, nearly enough halfway on this page. Um, so this one, I might actually continue doing some more on this this week because this one went really, really quickly. Um, so I think by the end of like this week, I may be able to get at least two thirds of the way down this page, but we will see. But this is where we're up to. So it's coming along. So that's that one. As I say, 477 stitches in one night, but well, not bad at all. It went really, really quickly. <laughs> Uh, the next piece I worked on is another one of my kits, which is Tiger of the Heavens. And this is by Designworks Craft Inc., which is this one. Excuse the glare. But this one, I didn't get done as much as I wanted to on this one. Um, this one has been done on 14 count um, navy blue Ada. And it's two over one full cross. And this got only 252 stitches in it this week. I haven't done an awful lot. I can't really see that. But this is what it's looking like at the moment. So I worked in mainly this area up here. So I filled in all this part and this little bit up here. This bit here and this part around here. So I haven't done as much as I wanted to on this one. I wanted to get a fair bit more done, but never mind. 252 stitches is 252 stitches less I need to do. <laughs> Yeah, this one is really coming along nicely. Now the challenge for this one is to try and get it finished. So it will get finished, but when? Who knows? <laughs> uh, the next piece I worked on is my Theo Governor piece, which is London, which is this one. And I'm working in this part around here. And this one is an 18 count Black Ada, and I'm doing it uh, one over one full cross. And I've got a total of 345 stitches in on this one. So this is where we're up to on there. So this one's coming along together. So I mainly worked in this section here and filled in some of the, um, the darker sections here. That's London. Oh yeah, and then the, the stripe down this part here as well. So it's coming along nicely. It's getting there. So it's definitely slow progress on this one. Um, so this one in total for the Whip Go Challenge is to get 6,000 stitches done. And so far I'm at 1,400. <laughs> it's gone have a lot more to do on this one yet. <laughs> But that's London. And then uh, the last piece I worked on, I've remembered it, is my supersized Tiger Family of the Jungle, which is artwork by uh, Jan Patrick Crosney. She's having a nice design. And I'm working in this tiger here. And this one is being done on 25 count easy guide. And I'm doing it one over one full cross. And I've got Decent amount of stitching done on this one. I got 1,997 stitches done in this week. And this is where we're up to now. So, if you can't see what I've done, I've mainly been working in the face part here to finish filling in all the, the loose stitches. And I've done some more around here. And there's a bit more going in in this tiger cub at the bottom. So you can see his ear coming together here. <laughs> this is the top of his head. But yeah, I've almost finished, as you can see, there's a couple of, just a couple of little gaps in the tiger's face now, but I've almost finished his full face. It looks absolutely amazing. But yeah, so it's coming along nicely. So I have done a fair bit, there's a fair few colours running through here as well. So we're getting close to finishing these two pages. Close, but not close enough. There's still probably about 2,000, maybe more. 4,000 stitches to go. <laughs> so that's Tiger of the Family. Uh, Tiger Family of the Jungles, even. So, absolutely loving that piece. 
and that's all I've got stitched this week. So, as I say, I've got a bit more than I thought I would do, um, considering starting my college course and doing all my Zooms and everything else uh, on this stitch with me. So, I didn't do too bad at all, I don't think. So, moving on to next week, obviously, Tiger, the fam uh, Tiger family is going to get some more work on it. Big Cats is going to get some more work on it. Um, I think I'm going to work on my Egyptian piece again, see if I can get closer to finishing that page, and then that's another one marked off on the whip go. Um, and then the other pieces, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Um, I may not work on just all my pieces from my whip go. I'm thinking I might do some more of my um, Sunset Koala, uh, which is a cross-stitch studio um, chart. Which is that one. I think I might do some more of that one. Just because. <laughs> but we'll see. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to stitch on this week. Um, and that's it. That's all I've got. <laughs> so this is going to be a short, really, really short week. I'll tell you, my videos are getting shorter and shorter. Soon it'll be a one minute video and that'll be it. Be like, this is what I've done. Bye. <laughs> People have been asking as well about the cats because they've not heard them um, running around for a while. Um, it's warming up here again now, so today we're meant to be up to 30 degrees. Um, yesterday was a nice day, it was up to 32 yesterday. Um, so we're warming up. Um, tomorrow is meant to be about 31, I think, and then we go back down again for um, the rest of next week. We're down into the 25s, I think, or something like that. So. Normally when it warms up, the cats kind of flake a bit earlier. So they run around for a little bit first thing in the morning and now that's, that's it, they're zonked. <laughs> so that's probably why you've not heard them running around for a bit. Oh, mainly because they've, uh, they've worn themselves out and it's getting warmer. So that'd be why. But I'm sure they'll make an appearance soon enough. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> um, so that's everything I've got for you. So next week, um, I've got... Um, man gone never mind so next week when I do my update I have a parcel to unwrap which I've already received but I'm not opening it until next week that's for my birthday so if you're not aware my birthday is on next Saturday so I'll be 44 so, kippy, getting old. Um, so I'm going to open that. I received that the last week. And I told them I'll open it on video so people can see what they've got me. <laughs> so hopefully, I've got um, some floss coming as well. And I should, when that arrives, I'll tell you what that one's going to be for. If you won't be able to guess from the colours when you see it. Um, so that's it. So I'm going to get me... I'm probably only going to get one stitch with me done this week. Because um, obviously I need to catch up on my college work and that's so I haven't really got much time to get two done. So I'm only going to do one. So that's going to go on Wednesday, which was my normal update day. Uh, stitch with me update. So that's going to go up on Wednesday. Uh, and then I'll do my normal update next. Well, I'm going to say next Saturday, but it may be Sunday again. It just depends again on work because work seems to be picking up a little bit. So who knows if hopefully we don't have to work. Don't forget to work on my birthdays. I normally book it off, but never mind. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so hopefully my update will be next Saturday. If not, it'll be Sunday. And we'll see what we've got stitched. Because I say, I've still got to work out what I want to do on yet. So we'll see. Um, but that's all I've got for you, I think. Next week as well, um, I've got a fair few new channels and stuff like that to shout out as well. So I really need to get a list of those done. Um, there's a couple on there which I'm sure a fair few of you will like so I'll probably throw in some shout outs next week as well for uh, new cha channels that I've found um, doing a lot of full coverage and other bits and bobs um, so yeah but that's everything from me so again nice short sweet update um, I'm going to go do my stitch with me and then get on with my college work <laughs> so busy day for me so again guys thank you very much for watching um again any questions comments please feel free to drop those down below um all details of the project are linked in the description box below as well um also my email address is down there if you do wish to email me with any questions 
um, or if you just want to show what you've been stitching on, uh, you can send me pictures in there as well. Um, my Facebook group is also linked down below uh, if you want to join that one. Uh, that'll be where I um, upload the Zoom meetup uh, when I get those organised. I'm going to do one of those next weekend as well. Um, or maybe two next weekend. We'll see. We'll see how we go with college work. So there will be a Zoom next weekend, but I don't know which one yet. <laughs> um, so again, if you are interested in Zooms and you're not on Facebook um, and you want to be included, please feel free to drop me an email with um, your time zone where you are so I can make sure I add you into the correct one as well. And I'll send you a link once I've got those sorted out. Um, again, you can message me on Instagram as well. On there, it's just Dizzy Stitcher. Uh, and that's it. Yep. Can't think of anything else. So um, I hope you have a good week and it's nice and relaxed for you. And you get plenty of stitching done. Um, and until my next video, whether it be my Stitch With Me or my next update, take care, stay safe, happy stitching or happy crafting. And until next time, thanks for watching and bye bye for now.